something behind there. Menace one five. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. This looks like it's going to be one where I have to hack with the shinobi, probably. Actually, my specialist is Ghost Walker. Still probably the shinobi. Heading out. I unmute and the microphone good. There's a button that shows me whether it's muted or not. My pop screen blocks me from being able to see it, so it's not super valuable. So I'm intentionally not dashing because I think the dashing is creating noise which pulls pods toward me. And yeah, I'm still playing around with that and trying to work it out. Concealed. Moving. It means that the moves that I am making feel quite a lot more risky than usual. Oh shit, I just put Ghost Walker on the cooldown for my Shinobi. I'm so dumb. Um, I cannot recommend that decision. Eyes on the prize. I got my eyes on. Moving on target location. Moving on target location. Yeah, auto pause is settable on the ionize if you want it. The testers found that it just was useful. I mean, it's useful, but it's not a thing that I wanted. is almost entirely locked down. We're running out of time. Get to that terminal. Yeah, this mission's a lot harder if you're Hidden never out. dashing. Moving to position. So like either I can move in next turn and I win or I can't and I lose I think is where we're at. Affirmative, covering now. On idle watch. Yes, go. No, not this way. With an officer on the mission, I would be able to extend the timer. I have no officer. If I had gotcha turned on, hold on. I'm gonna turn on gotcha and see if there's a tile for my specialist to hack from through the window.
It's silly that this isn't just in the base game. Yeah, Jans, I know. I told. I know. <laughs> I agree. Uh, gotcha shows you if you can see the objective or not from different tiles. So, for example, if I put my cursor here, it shows me I can see the objective. It says I can see the objective from this tile, which means actually I do win the mission. Cool. There you go. Gotcha. It's affirmative. If this were like a competitive game, you would get charged $500 for that mod right there. That's huge. That's just like straight up the difference between winning and losing the mission. Plus I get a special attack on the objective where all I was even trying for before was a shinobi hack. I'm going to give 20 defense here in case we're yellow alerted. The snake insectoid. Oh, I should have hunkered. This is one of the other series of events that I've ever seen happen. What? This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Menace one five. The advent uh... <laughs> This is your last chance to secure the data. I can't tell you guys what that was. You guys are missing some details about how exactly that screen is generated, but I'm not sure that they make what you are all seeing any better. Are you serious? I just did all of that and the result is that I can't see it anyway. Try to save and reload. I want to run in there and hack so badly. If only I had command. I'm a ghost. Do I need that tile? No, it's a, this tile worked. <sighs> I wonder if it's because I'm not leaning or something. Okay, I'm not going to teleport the creature. But I think I should probably be allowed to in this situation realistically. Not console commanding Bazaar. We'll need to review our tactics. This is a uh, legend Iron Man playthrough.
Um. I think that we want Salvo on Vivit. I think. Mm, such a long time. I don't know how good Salvo actually is here. <clears throat> there are parts of train walls which are far easier to destroy with environmental damage than other parts are. So I'm not going to make contact here yet. Uh, wound recovery. Okay. This is something I really like about the squad screen. That I can load out my team without like committing to a mission yet. So we can hop into squad view. This is the team that I'm planning to send. I wish it said like default expert, default infiltration time right here. I might recommend that. I hope this doesn't pull guns off my network power team. I have, like, it shouldn't. Probably fine. Okay, I have to build another one of those. WCs on this guy, covert. Alright, he's not really meant to be going on this mission, I guess. Grenadier Ranger gets a laser rifle with upgrades. Hmm. Exactly that many upgrades. And she has steady hands. We have. That's autoloader, that's scope on this gun. Just need a laser cannon, which costs me 25 supply, 5 supply more. Uh, do you want me to put Twitch vids up on YouTube? Because, like, I. And it's a little bit complicated for me. And you might not actually enjoy what I end up with. I don't know, Dot. I can put them on YouTube if people want me to. I've had other people say that they would prefer me not to just because it would spam their feed with a ton of videos. So it's really up to the viewers. Uh, since I've got like mixed feelings from people so far, I am not doing it because it takes me time and if it's not overwhelmingly you should do this then I'm not going to do it if it takes me time. I don't think those train windows from that mission could be blown up. <sighs> I'm just going to not bring her after all that work. Whoops. Oh well, okay. Let's just do it like this. Do you want them on YouTube? So if I post stuff to YouTube, do you guys just want me to like post four hour chunks of the stream or do you want me to... Is it okay if I just do that? Or do I have to... Um, split them up mission by mission too. P.S. I would prefer not to split them up mission by mission.
Yeah, I understand the ease, but like, do you use your YouTube feed at all? Because like, there are like 18 things in your YouTube feed from me. You might unsubscribe from me because that's ridiculous. I don't know. I just don't want to upset anybody. Let's scan somewhere here. I'm not. Oh, I don't need a scientist in the save menu. It's actually pretty bad that I had a scientist there for a billion years. Uh, I'm gonna go no. Advisor, do I want a scientist? Whatever, I'll keep a scientist here because I can um, discover more supply rates and the like. Four days, eleven hour. Where's the team I just sent out who just failed me? They're right here. I'm going to probably boost this mission. It counters a dark event. May have been overly optimistic to think that that guy was going to get any training. Grab resilience. Scanning gives another four level one intel, uh, another four level one rebels, sorry, worth of intel generation. So this team, wait, my shinobi's not tradecraft yet, is it? I think I can boost that to 190. Uh, how does math work? So I have six days and 20 hours effectively. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I have six days and 20 hours effectively, and they will take six days and 30 hours. <laughs> sort of like seven days and six hours. So we're 10 days extra, 50, 10 hours extra. I'm not quite at 190. Really close. A suppressor would get us there, but we put them all on the network tower team. If we could bring this down one hour, literally one hour, I think we get 190. Okay, now that I've said that, let's make sure. Uh, it takes us... Well, I guess it's granular, too. Six days, 28 hours, and we have six days, 20 hours. So we're only over by eight hours. It's gonna be like 189 or something. Whatever, I'm gonna launch. Let's find out. Yeah, Zapek. I hope I will not betray your hopes. In position for deployment. I think that YouTube has trouble accepting exports from Twitch if they are too large as well. So I don't want to make them too large. Good morning. No, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. Yes, you were posting on Facebook two hours before I woke up. Notice when I woke up. I was sort of impressed. Have a nice day at Tokyo. 
Till seven. Did you go to six? Ah, uh, six forty-five. I got up before my alarm. I must return to my game. Sorry, silly Caitlin, distracting me. Uh, I think, okay, here's the deal. Vigilance is already high in this region. How heavy is this gonna be? Um, Vigilance is already high in this region and I would like to kill those troops before they get to the region I'm infiltrating. So I'm gonna pick this team up and put them here instead. It loses me the engineer and the intel package, assuming that I was succeeding at that mission. But this is more good, more better, I think. Oh. Oh, this is base infiltration of five days instead of six days, so I should be able to make gunner too. I have been like messing around with the strategic players so much. Okay. Let's get you a bigger gun. I want a nanoscale on her as well. Did I really not have one? That's okay. I think we just hit go. They're already loaded out from the last mission, so. Serial is a dumb word. I agree. I agree. Uh, so we're infiltrating everywhere. I'm gonna Intel boost that. I might actually just not boost the network tower. It's not that much time to wait. I don't know. I wish that the calendar was in base 10 and like the hours of the day were also in base 10. I have a power relay about to finish. I won't be able to do anything with that. Um, I like balance tested the game, save, so I have played a large amount of most of the situations you can show up in in Legend. Late game a lot less than early and middle game, but we've uh, played a good amount of this. Power relay now operational. What I really want to know is whether this mission succeeds or not before I decide whether to boost that. But now is when I would want to boost this and we're not done here yet. So if I don't boost it, it's only like three days. Three days for 30 intel, that's not really worth it, I don't think anyway. Okay, let's continue. 
have to launch plus 61 only gets me to 183 it's light right now i think it's worth boosting just for the um detection ranges and one turn off evac and enemy activity goes down but i would have preferred two turns